We got some this one. Yeah. You guys look like we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> we live? Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we're here. We're actually going to wait for people to join like last time, although in the meantime we can uh, show you President Lip Gloss. Let's see. Right here. Coming out soon. We both have it on. We did it completely differently. Mm -hmm. So I did it with Laura Mercier True Red Lipstick to get more of a matte feel. It's bright for me. I sort of... You know, I feel like I look like the president, right? Blue, red, <laughs> white. Um, and then Ramsha did it. How'd you do it? I just put a little bit on my hand and I just dabbed it on because I don't like intense color, especially a worker right now. So it's hard to see it. Go up a little bit more so they can see. It's awkward. Yeah. yeah, you can do it. Yeah, see, it's sheer. So you can make it sheer or you can yeah. make it have a lot of depth. Yeah. Um, but a red lip liner makes it deeper without having to use a lipstick under it. I love that you've had a popsicle look on your lips, and yeah. I feel like this does that. I am not the popsicle <laughs> look usually, but I do like this. Yeah. Right. It's not out yet. It's coming soon, I think, yeah. in a week. I think that's about right. Just in time for every convention. <laughs> <laughs> the power lip, right? Yes. We're just waiting for a couple more viewers. Okay. What do we have on there? Your counter? Right. Close to 20. Cool. Great. Okay. Fun. I think we can go ahead and get started. You want to start? Okay. We're going to do a little review. I don't know if all of you were here last week, um, but we talked about Hydro Boost Body Butter, our newest addition uh, to the M61 line. Have you used this? I have. I liked your tip on the fragrance, so I like to put it on and then spray it and it lasts for longer. Right. So it's yeah. unscented, yep. so you're using it with fragrance. Uh, yeah, it pairs by on. Um, so it's a treatment oriented body moisturizer. I won't spend too much time on it since we talked about it last week, um, but you get firming and toning from it as well as hydration. And this idea came from our team members in the stores because they said every moisturizer is just a moisturizer. Why can't you take the amazing Hydro Boost ingredients, which are vitamin B5 and peptides, the peptides are firming, uh, as well as tamarind for hydration. And we added coconut oil uh, and vitamin B5. Um, uh, so you get amazing hydration, amazing toning from it. It is vegan and gluten-free, so you can always check any M61 or Luna Nastar product to see if it's vegan and gluten-free. Where possible, we try to formulate like that. It's not always possible. Um, but it's selling out in stores. I was just talking, I was at our Bethesda store this morning. They said they have four left. More are coming, don't worry. <laughs> but, um, it, you know, everybody's loving it for summertime. So great for legs, great for arms, great for your entire body, unscented. So if you don't like scent or you're allergic to scent, and we dermatologists test every product in M61. Um, and so uh, it's dermatologist approved too. So, fun. Cool. Okay. So next, what, what are we doing next? You're doing sunrise next. Okay, sunrise. Do you want to hold yes. yes. I'll be your Vanna. Uh, you'll be my Vanna. Yes. So, um, and let's hold it closer. So this is our newest addition to the Luna and Aster line. So Luna and Aster, um, we launched last September. It's our healthy uh, makeup line for the girl on the go. Um, those of you know that know our Moonrise palette, it's our best-selling bronzer. It's a bronzer um, with like a highlighter, and we decided we needed a deeper bronzer uh, with a blush that gives you a pop of color. And I don't know if you guys know this trick. I've been doing this trick forever. Do you do this trick where you use bronzer with blush on top? Yeah, I do actually. I think that helps with blending as well. I actually do the bronzer first. I don't know if that's what you yeah. do. And then I do the blush because I feel like it's a little bit more forgiving instead of like yeah. having a huge yes. streak on your face. I just kind of use the blush to blend it actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So foolproof. Um, but one of the reasons I do it is because just straight brown actually makes me look a little flat. Whereas if you add a pink or even some people do a coral, I don't mm -hmm. know what color you usually do, but yeah. pink's my favorite. Um, it warms it up a little bit. Uh, and so sometimes you don't want to just look like you have brown on you. You want to look a little warmer. I actually have it on right now. You can use, this is a great brush. This is the Chanel brush, uh, powder brush, but there are, you can use it with any uh, brush you want. Um, this is launching in two weeks, um, but a lot of our clients were asking for a little bit of a deeper color than Moonrise, so I wish we had Moonrise here, it's okay, um, but it's a little deeper than Moonrise, so really fun, easy to go, and I keep Moonrise in my Trish Planner, which we'll talk about in a second, um, but this is so easy to keep and travel with you, and you sort of have everything in one place, um, so fun um, to use Moonrise. Um, this is some 
Sunrise, so we're really sort of, you know, creative with our names. <laughs> we already have a question about Sunrise. Yeah. Um, what skin tones is it good for? Um, it's good for deeper skin yeah. tones. I mean, Ramsha can use it, I can use it. It's all about, we made it so um, there's not that much pickup on it. And so what you can do is layer. So if you're someone fair like me, you just do it once. Um, uh, on both and I think Ron show would probably do it a couple times yeah. to get the deeper Yeah, and it depends on how pink I want to look that day if I just want a little bit of a blush I put a little bit but a lot and then the great thing about the brushes is you can just squeeze them like this it becomes a great um, Contouring brush. Yeah, so you put it around and then that guy just kind of twice. You can do that really with any powder brush But, but this is really meeting the demand um, from our clients for a, a darker bronze yeah. in um in the Luna Astro line, yeah. so um, that's where the idea came from, and we all love layering. So. Mm -hmm. I think the Moon is actually great because it's more of a little lighter, so it's um, uh, for the highlighter. And this guy is a little bit darker, so it's great to like yes. powder between. So it's a little bit of kind of play around with it, depending on your skin tone, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Okay. So uh, the Trish planner. So. Every year, Trish McAvoy and I design two planners a year. So this is our summertime one. It is called Sun and Sand, and it's packed with some of our favorite things. Um, it's in store right now. Uh, we've only had it a week, but it's moving really fast. So if you want it, I suggest you get it. If you don't own a Trish planner, you must, because <laughs> if you travel, it is so easy. You just pack this up and go, and you don't have to think about um, you know, repacking a makeup bag every time. Mm -hmm. The other thing is she leaves you so much extra room so you can put your own things. It doesn't have to just be Trish in it. And this comes out so it can go into your purse if you need it to. So really fun. It comes filled um, with lots of goodies. Um, one of my favorites is she's got a bronzer. Now her bronzer compared to Sunrise is more matte and a little bit peachier. And then a translucent powder pressed. Um, right, yeah, which is really good um, for highlighting under the eyes. I actually, um, Allie did my makeup today and she put a little bit under my eyes so you get that brightness under your eyes. Um, so great product. Um, this is packed with stuff. Do you have any favorites that yeah, in first, here? Yeah, first I actually love this. That If you guys can see, there's like a little binder clip in here and she makes little refills, which is great. It's fun it's like a little do you know the file okay. did you use a file effects ever do you even know what that is no. <laughs> that is so fun. maybe so, so trish created this in the 90s ramsha was much younger <laughs> i was too, actually um as a model after the file effects because before we had mobile phones we actually kept planners where we wrote down everything in them and traveled with them so trish actually made this thinking of the planner she thought why can't why can't we organize your makeup a little bit better? So that's where the I like the binders in school are like yes. My Little Pony. <laughs> sort of like a binder, yes. And when, yes, exactly. Where you can kind of zip it and yeah. put all your pencils so, in it. Who doesn't want a binder for, for yeah. makeup? Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? I mean, this has a lot of great product. It has their, some of their best sellers and some of also their newer products. I think my personal favorite, and I think it's a lot of people's favorite, is the um, Instant Eye Lift. And it essentially is what it says Here, it, hold it. okay you cool you can my banana now <laughs> um essentially just dab it under your eye she has that great triangle of light technique and then you just dab it through and it really does give you a um instant eye lift i did it on my mom she's not a believer of these type of things and we did one and the other and she's like oh i see i do see a difference so it works my mom and me. a triangle right yeah under here yep. and it brightens so if you ever have a night where you don't sleep because your kids keep you up your dog keeps you up or <laughs> and you just sort of need to pick me up rather than coffee you use trish yeah. instant eye lift i even sometimes put on my eyelid and then it gives like more of a brighter eye they do have an eye base essential for that but this kind of does a little bit of both um, so she also loaded this with some great eyeshadows, which I have to tell you, Trish doesn't usually let me put this many eyeshadows in the planner, <laughs> but here you go. I have all of these on today. It's four different colors. Um, so you have your sort of creamy base, you have your crease one, uh, and then you have an eyeliner. This one I use sometimes for a pop of color uh, for evening also, um, but these three you can use together really easily. Okay. Uh, and we have one brush in here, which is yeah. also a treat. This is why this planner is so amazing. We have an eye makeup brush. And so it really is almost everything you need. Um, you need an eyeliner brush um, to go with this. Um, but she also put an eyeliner in here somewhere. Yeah, right. Charcoal, which is a newer color for her. So you actually don't need an eyeliner brush. You can just use the charcoal pencil. Um, it's really pretty. It's a deep, oh, I just totally yep. messed that up. It's okay. <laughs> 
Uh, it's a deep, deep gray, so you can see the color, but I totally messed up the pencil because it's so warm in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. that the pencil is <laughs> melting. Um, and then what else is in here? Oh, I have this guy on. Are you? What, the the pink. Like, uh, oh, liquid. It's actually really, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of dewy, which is really pretty. Oh, so dewy. So see how it kind of goes oh, on, dewy, so it's nice for the summer. I mean, it's a sand and sun collection, so it's super dewy, super light, and you can kind of dab it on once it goes oh, on. Right. I'm so. going to put on my other hand. This one's yeah. covered. This is a hazard being in the makeup business. Okay. See, it's kind of like a little shimmer, but like mostly dewy, so it's super pretty. Oh, so it's pretty. It's kind of light and sheer, you so it's great it for the summer. all over your face and lips. Yeah. Yeah. I like it sort of for lips. I don't know oh, if yeah, she said you could use it on lips. Multitasking. Yeah, exactly. And then, of course, uh, plum lip pencil. I love her lip and cheek pencils. This is a color I use a lot for evening. This one's plum. Um, so it's just, this is such a great value. I think it's, it's $210, but you get sort of a complete wardrobe of makeup. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of good stuff. Uh, they're new. I think they're new brow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. The brow mascara is in here. So it's really a brow brush, but in a mascara kind of format. I'll bring this really close. Yeah, it's we're a seeing cool a lot of these um, come out. Brows are so hot right now. I'm sure yeah. you know that. I wrote a blog about brows where, you know, as you get older, your brows get lighter. Who told us that? Mm -hmm. um, and so this is so easy to use. I know a lot of us use pencils to fill in, but this is just a gel. It's like a mascara yeah. for the eyebrows. So I don't know how you do it. I go like, I just sort of brush yeah, when it, it all the way across. Yeah, I think you brush up and then like over if you want a cleaner look. If you want that like boy brow kind of thing, you can just... Go straight up. And if you just want the regular Trish, this is natural brunette color. It's a color that's the most universal. I think she has two or two, three colors. I think, yeah, two, two? like a lighter and a okay. darker. This yeah, this darker. is the perfect one. Um, and then lots of other goodies in here, including her Lash Curling Mascara, which we love. Mm -hmm. um, and then my favorite thing about this planner is really the color. You know, we called it Sun and Sand, and it looks like the sand. Um, so it's just... Got the it's, gold for the sun? Yeah, the gold. <laughs> it's, it's very year-round. Um, so I am actually getting two of these and keeping one uh, in, at home and one in my suitcase permanently. So I do love it. And like I said, you can pop all of your favorite things inside. Uh, which I always do. Actually, mine end up so stuffed that like it's bursting at the seams, and then I open it and everything falls out. <laughs> um, but this one is perfect right now. Yeah, I feel like it has everything. All you really need is maybe your personal foundation that you yeah. wear. Other than that, and, and a primer. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lunar Astro Real Glow <laughs> Primer. I love. Let's see. Uh, Gloria on Facebook says it's a trapper keeper for makeup. <laughs> a trapper <laughs> keeper. Yes. Um, exactly. But it's, you know, it also is, usually she makes the small sizes. Mm -hmm. um, and so, the, you know, I like the big sizes. Trish knows I like the big sizes, so she's letting me do the big sizes because, of course, I have a lot of makeup I need to fit. <laughs> um, so, love this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so it keeps really well and you can actually just wipe it off if you need to. It looks like leather. It's not. Um, so it's really sturdy. They last for years and years. Awesome. Oh, and I just... Now we have now to wipe, we wipe it. it. Now we have to wipe it off because I just <laughs> real life. Yeah, real life, real practice. Um, so we will wipe that off. And I'm gonna wipe my hands really quickly. So what's next? La Mer is next. The goodies. Yeah. yeah so this is this is a lab sample. So that's one of the great things about being at Blue Mercury is we get to see things before mm -hmm. they're out. Um, so this is coming out in the next couple days. Um, it's the micellar water. Um, so micellar water is interesting. Everybody asks what it is. Is it a toner? It's not quite a toner. It was created in 1913 in Paris, actually, um, to cleanse the Parisians' face from the grimy city, which we all know if you've been to Paris, uh, you just, or even New York City or any big city, you sort of get home and you feel like you just need to wash your face quickly. Yeah. But this you can do. You can use it um, as a cleanser to start, or I sort of use it second step as a toner. Just really cute. Uh, La Mer actually also sent me this little case that says La Mer with Q-tips and Super cotton. Cool. It will never look like this again once I start <laughs> using them. Um, and you just sort of, you dab it all over your face. The, interest, the interesting thing is micellar water has little um, beads of, micelle beads of oil, which is why you get the cleansing. You don't even see the oil. I don't know, if you try it, it doesn't feel like, yeah, it's kind of it doesn't feel oily watery. at all. Um, so you can just see you get this sort of nice wet look. It feels like a toner, a little bit heavier than a toner, but you get this deep clean from it. Um, and this has uh, La Mer's Miracle Broth in it, which is really the seaweed. We love seaweed for firming and hydration. Um, so for me, it's a second step. Would you use it as a first step? I call this a lazy girl's makeup slash face <laughs> remover. Really, for me, it's when I'm like really tired. I'm pretty particular about my skincare, but like when you're really tired, literally it takes off 
your makeup, your eye makeup, and then it serves as kind of a toner, so you're all in one step. So it's actually pretty great for that when you're like, eh, I'm you're tired not doing for it. Bed. All in one. Kind of do it. Sometimes I just get it on my hand, just rub it all over, and then wipe it with the yeah. um, cotton pad. Yeah, I saw. I'm um, actually. Uh, the Korean women actually splash toner yeah. on their face yeah. so they don't touch it with cotton, which right. is interesting because they feel like every time you touch your face, you're doing damage. Mm -hmm. Now, I would use cotton, um, <laughs> so that's just my nature. Um, I grew up with the uh, pink second step lotion, I think Clinique, my mom used Clinique and Lancome, mm -hmm. and so she would always cleanse and then use this, so my habit is to use this. I never thought you needed a toner until like the last 10 years, where I feel like I'm not, my skin doesn't get clean enough unless I do the second yeah. step of cleansing water or toner. Um, so this has a beautiful La Mer scent if you own any um, La Mer products. It um, smells like their sort of core cream, which is completely addictive. Mm -hmm. um, but really fun product, easy to use, and they also gave us a sneak peek. I'm probably completely not, to, not supposed to be showing you this. <laughs> No label also. This is um, their newest uh, cream lotion coming out, I think, in August. Um, it is beautiful. That's all I'll say because I don't want to get in trouble. Um, I need to keep getting my lab samples. Um, <laughs> but it is a beautiful product. We'll talk more about it later. Um, so that is La Mer. A question from Facebook. Uh, is the water hydrating as well? It feels really hydrating. Yeah, it does. It, it has, I will say, it has a little bit of a sticky feel, and that's where you're getting the hydration from. Mm -hmm. And so I was reading that micellar water is better if you're normal to dry. If you are oily, some people do like oil um, on oil, um, but it has a little, it's a little bit stickier than most toners, yeah. so I just want to be clear about that. Yeah. Um, but I like that because the oil is what's going to give you that deep clean because oil attracts oil out of your skin, so yeah. that's why you have oil. It's like when you put your like serums on after, it feels like it's like staying. Yeah. Whereas sometimes if it's too like disappeared, you're like, what happened? Right. So it just feels like something happened. And there's no alcohol in it, yeah. so some toners have alcohol, so you get that drying sensation. Yeah. There's no alcohol mm -hmm. in this, yeah. um, so. Um, it feels really good. Next up. Um, this one's one of my favorite launches. So SkinCeuticals, this is a brand we've carried for 17 years. It's a technical brand. You can find it at dermatologist offices and we use it in our spa. Um, they've had the, a Fido gel in their line, which is for brightening and spots, a botanical gel. Um, actually, I think for the full 17 years and they finally have brought out this beautiful corrective mask. It is a soothing and cooling mask with botanicals in it. We're gonna open it up and show you. Um, but it, summertime is perfect for this. Oh, I'm gonna spill everywhere. Because it's great um, post sunburn. Mm -hmm. It's very calming. Um, here, I'll look at you. Uh, I'll hold it. I feel like yeah, it's kind of cool to see. Yeah, cool, it's cool, literally. It's a gel mask. So masks are so hot right now. And you can find a mask for every single thing you want to do on your skin. This is a lab sample. So the jar does not look like this. I want to be clear. And you can see it says lab sample yeah. on the side, on the back. Um, but it's cooling. It's hydrating. It's soothing. It's got the botanical it gels. Good. It smells good. Mm -hmm. It smells like the Fido. If you've ever used their Fido green gel, it smells like that. And that Fido green gel layered with vitamin C. So you could actually use this, rinse off, and put vitamin C on it, you get this amazing, amazing sort of firming of your skin by, by using uh, vitamin C after the Fido gel. So I'm assuming you could do that here. You're supposed to leave it on for 15 minutes, then rinse, um, but hydrating and cooling. I'm going to try it if I um, get too much sun one day because I never do that. Um, <laughs> wear your sunscreen, um, but, <laughs> but um, it's it's a gel mask. So, you know, there are cream masks, there are gel masks, there are peel off masks. My favorite during the summer are gel because they're so light. They're not overly creamy. You don't feel like you have anything on. It actually feels good on my hand too. I mean, it looks really hydrated. Uh, um, <laughs> so, um, beautiful, beautiful product. Um, easy to rinse off. You could probably even tissue it off with the micellar yeah. water, which is really <laughs> fun. Um, I'm tissuing it off right now. Yeah, it doesn't get like hard and Sticky yeah. where you have to kind of like really you just kind of wash it off I think in water or even like you said wipe it off and it's pretty easy to use and I'm actually looking at my hand it looks even um, whiter already um, which is really it's hard to see on the on the iPhone um, but it looks um, a little bit whiter already so it must have a little bit of exfoliation it's a slight bit it doesn't tingle at all so probably for all skin types um, 
and um, really, really easy to use. Um, and I know our team, they like to do funny things. Like I know our Blue Mercury experts will take this and layer it with another mask. So they're, they're like mask cocktailers. Um, so I, I could see that happening with this too. Um, maybe doing a clay mask with this on top. Um, they're, they're crazy layers. <laughs> or doing a peel and then using this um, could, could be incredibly soothing. Yeah. Um, it also says um, that this is for post-procedure. Yeah. Um, which I don't get procedures. I do think you? That, I feel like that was like, like a facial. Like I have a facial plan in Blue Mercury this week. Hopefully, so I feel like I'm I gonna. I think they maybe mean more it. intense procedures. No, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I have to get a facial. Oh, you yeah. mean like lifts and stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. um, or even like, um, like mold removal and things like that. Um, yeah. So interesting. It, interesting. Because it, it posts like extraction, which that I'm assuming is like, through yes. spa services. So. Yes. So yes, after a purifying facial or yeah. a peel would be yeah. great. Um, after a facelift, I think that's what they mean. <laughs> well, we are not getting to see lab okay. samples, so lucky us, we get to see it. Okay. Um, but beautiful, beautiful product. I'm excited to use it. It also says you can use it on your chest, so um, you can use any skincare on your neck and chest. We always like to remind people that because uh, it seems to be. I always forget my neck and chest. It seems like extra work, but you know <laughs> you're doing it anyway, so why not? Um, so I love, love, love this product. Um, Fido corrected mask. Um, we do have another question from Facebook. What type of skin is a gel mask best for? Um, I, I think usually it's normal to dry depending on the ingredients um, because it's so, um, it's, they usually have a little bit of hydration in them. Mm -hmm. So that, that's what I would recommend. However, saying that, I don't feel like this one is oily at mm -hmm. all. So I feel like if you're um, oily, you could use this one too for soothing. Um, especially if you have any acne flare-ups, flare the botanicals will help with, with that soothing too. So I feel like this is really an all-around mask. Yeah. Some gel masks are, have a lot of oil in them. This does not. Um, so I know we have some coming out in other brands in the next couple weeks um, that have a little bit more oil. So I think this is really an all skin type mask. I think especially for sensitive skins too because it's cooling like it won't feel like it's burning your skin or doing anything crazy. I think that would be great for that. Yeah actually. you feel the cooling right away. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last product. This guy? Yes. All right. James Thank Reed. You. So anyone who knows James Reed, he's like yeah. the self-tanner to the stars. And um, Have you ever seen pictures of Rosie Huntington Whiteley? Mm -hmm. She looks always bronzed, always perfect skin all the time she goes to James Reed and he personally does her self tanner so we love James Reed products um, this is a tanning mist so it's supposed to be used pre makeup on your face it's a gradual tan not one of those intensive tanners where you turn out orange after you use it it's just it's a simple spray right so you just spray it on um, it has rose water in it and it smells really good it, we were just talking about earlier how a lot of self tanners smell really yeah, bad super sunscreen tanny yeah, yeah so you get that dha that turns your skin like it interacts with your skin and makes it smell bad this does not smell bad at all um but you spray it on your skin um let it seep in and then do your makeup as usual and you get that gradual tan like there are a lot of gradual tan lotions for body but i've never seen a mist yeah, for cool. the face and i sort of am intrigued about using it on my legs too mm -hmm. if i could get that gradual tan um, but it does not give you that intensive orange look just a gentle tan but it's really cooling i mean yeah i mean it's a, yeah, it feels like, like a, a, it goes on really light and feels you know cool to touch and also i think it's great for different skin tones too because like I personally don't really tan but I think this would give me more of like a sun-kissed look where I just like came back from vacation or something so I think it's really good for all skin tones and like maybe if you're concerned try it on your arms and legs and see what it does and then go crazy. <laughs> it's beautiful but uh, you know you see with the micellar water from La Mer and this mist uh, mist and uh, waters are so hot right now I think it's that desire for cooling mm -hmm. and um, really to treat your skin without heavy layering especially we're in Washington DC and the humidity it's like yeah, it's thick it's yeah. in the air so all these light uh, products are so easy to use um, and you don't feel like you have a, a bunch of layers on yeah. um, so this is really a, a fun um, product it says H2O too so I'm a sucker for anything that says water <laughs> on it um, so um, I love it and I love the gold bottle yeah, it's, it's just bottle. beautiful you sort of want to have it in your guest uh, uh, bathroom when you have visitors um, because 
exactly. While your guests come out of the bathroom yeah. real tan. Yeah. <laughs> like, where'd you go? Yeah, exactly, exactly. But real, really beautiful product. So lots of fun stuff um, here. Um, everything for summer. Um, and it's great. I, yeah. We're happy to answer any questions. Yeah. Anyone have yeah. any questions? So the um, tanning mess brought up a lot of questions. Oh. I'm sure. Right. I've amazing. never seen anything like it. Of course it, it would. Cool. Yeah. So, um, Ramcha, are you supposed to rub it in? I think you're supposed to leave it on just the spray. I think kind of like just leave it and kind of set it. Almost like how you would a primer that I was setting and then just kind of see with it. If you want to rub it in for more, if it affects your skin differently, try it. But I think for the first round, just spray it. It's so set. good too. Great. Um, yeah. Rosie. Rosie? Yeah. Should you use it every day or how many times a week should you use it? I think because it's a gradual tan, you yeah. can use it every day. Most gradual tan. So if you use a self tanner, it's like once a week or twice a week. But a gradual tan, you can use every day because it's supposed to build as mm -hmm. you use it. Uh, we don't have enough experience with the product, so we're just sort of hypothesizing. So we Come do want to let you know we'll, that. We'll tan yeah. Our leg. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do one arm and another, and you yeah. can see how we look. <laughs> um, and then will it stain your clothes? I don't think so. I think I would, when I put it on, I would maybe just do it with a towel on just so it doesn't, you know, don't wear your nicest shirt when you do it and then kind of wait a little bit. And I think you're supposed to apply makeup after. So let it set, put your makeup on and then dress accordingly. <laughs> yeah. So I think I would do this and then a primer, then a tinted moisturizer or a BB yep. or C, C cream, or you could skip the primer step. Yep. Um, and, and yes, yeah, so allow a minute or two to dry before applying your makeup. So right. as you would any mist or some sort. Yes, and we do like mists at Blue Mercury for setting makeup mm -hmm. afterwards. I'm, I'm not sure if this is the right one, but we have a lot of mists. People like to use a rose water mist to set your makeup um, because in this humidity, um, if you're going to an outdoor party or wedding, mm -hmm. it actually helps keep it on. So we have lots of mists in there. And throw in your bag to go. Yeah. Well, not this guy, but a mist. Yeah. So you can get yeah, the yeah, party yeah. and yeah. make yourself I think Kiehl's has a new one. We really like the cactus mist. The ginseng, yeah. Yeah. Um, Marla, what do you have coming down the pipeline for M61 or Luna Master? Um, so you saw President Lip Gloss. We also <laughs> have Rockstar, which is not here. Um, Barry and I go to a lot of concerts over the summer, so we just went to the Dead concert with John Mayer. I'm not a deadhead, but I am <laughs> certainly a fan of John Mayer. Um, so it's this beautiful glimmery gloss that can be sheer or you can wear it over anything and a lot around the eye category for fall so really excited about that you'll see a lot of demos um, things that uh, we don't carry at all you've never seen before so a um, lo lot of good stuff around Luna Naster um, and then M61 uh, uh, we're expanding the power glow category um, which is um, one of our favorites so good questions love Your the sister's questions. sister's on hi <laughs> 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 sorry I had to make a shout That's out so cute <laughs> very cool well we are per right on time so we're just gonna wrap it up great thank you guys thanks